Hello, my name is Tiffany, and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the death penalty for juveniles. Um, the death penalty in general has been a very controversial topic um, in our country for many years now. and um, But I'm going to be talking to you today about the death penalty specifically for juveniles and why I think it should be banned. Um, the first um, execution was dated back in 1642, the first juvenile to be um, executed. And as of today, there are 365 people who have been executed for juvenile crimes, meaning crimes that were committed as delinquents or as minors. Um, I am against the death penalty for juveniles because there aren't, uh, they aren't fully mature and developed. It's cruel and unusual punishment, and it is very expensive and very costly. Um, another reason, um, the death penalty in general has very weak public support. Um, PewResearch.org did a study and they found that since 1996, the support for the death penalty has fallen by 27% um, among with other independents and other factors, but um, the overall public support for it has went down, so the fact that our government is still doing it, even though majority of us don't even support it, um, causes a little bit of controversial issues right there. Um, as, as I just stated, juveniles are minors who don't have a fully developed brain. They aren't fully mature and necessarily aware of their actions. Um, when juveniles commit these crimes, they aren't thinking ahead. They aren't thinking um, in the long run. They're thinking in the moment, and they're just acting off emotion. Um, you know, their brains aren't fully developed, so they're not worried about what's right and wrong. And majority of people who commit crimes as a juvenile grow up to become very remorse, remorseful and they feel bad and very apologetic about what happened. And to me, killing them as a juvenile isn't fair because um, they aren't, I'm trying to say, like they just don't realize um, how bad their actions really are. Like when they do something as a kid, um, I don't know how many of us have done something dumb as a kid, and if we had to die for it like that's just ending our lives way too early and to me it's not fair because it's not giving them the chance to um, think back on what they've done it's not giving them the chance to learn from it it's not giving them the chance to actually grow up and still become a good person just because something they did as a kid doesn't mean they're going to be bad forever um, however adults who commit these crimes you know your their brains are fully developed they know right from wrong so at that point they're committing crimes out of pure evilness basically. And also executions of juveniles violate the Eighth Amendment. It is cruel and unusual punishment. Um, I found a quote that said, rapists are not sexually assaulted and arsonists do not have their houses burned down. Why then should murderers be killed? Majority of um, offenders who get the death penalty is for a murder charge, of course. And I like this quote because that's very true. Um, we don't rape the rapists. We don't do that. So why do we get to choose to end someone's life because of something they did? Regardless of how bad it is, that should be the way our law should be set up. We have programs. We have systems for that. Um, prisons, jails. We have um, detention centers to put people through for breaking the law. Just ending their lives shouldn't be up to the government and it shouldn't be up to anybody else for that matter. And it's just unfair and it is cruel and unusual. And lastly, the death penalty, whether for juveniles or adults, it is very expensive. Um, it costs almost two or three times as much per inmate. And um, New Mexico, um, the Faisal Impact Report prepared by the legislative of New Mexico, um, they did a study and they estimated that um, bringing back the death penalty because they once had it, no longer have it. And they um, found data that if they did bring it back, um, it would cost them as much as $7.2 million just for the first three years. And that to me says a lot. That's a lot of money just for three years in of how many death penalties death penalty cases there could be and it's just a lot of money and to me taxpayers are already contributing a lot for ordinary prisoners who are not on death row and spending even more on those who are on death row and for half of us who don't even support it it's just not right and it's not fair
Um, but in conclusion, juveniles are kids. They're still learning and developing. Um, they don't necessarily realize how bad their actions are right now. They don't realize this is going to affect the rest of their life. And for them to just have their lives ended as a child isn't fair. They need, um, uh, they need a system to help them. They need a system to get through and to let them learn and, you know, let them learn and develop, let them learn from their mistakes and they can still be a good human being. Um, and again, it does violate the Eighth Amendment and it's very expensive. Um, there's also another article that found out that I believe it was five out of nine of our Supreme Court justices. They have come together and um, recently ruled to abolish the death penalty for juveniles. Um, not sure if that's for adults included as well, but I know for juveniles they have abolished it. And that to me says a lot if the higher ups of our courts have abolished it. You know it's wrong because, again, my valid points are that it's costly. It violates the Eighth Amendment and they are still children. And it's like the Supreme Court is realizing that and they realize they shouldn't, you know, put that on juveniles. Um, another thing, which this kind of mm, doesn't happen as much, but it is still a possibility of people convicting the wrong person. And the death penalty is not irreversible. You kill somebody, they're not going to come back to life. And there was a case where... A man in Texas, Cameron Todd Willingham, he was executed for allegedly setting his three daughters on fire. And then following his execution, they found further evidence that revealed he did not set his own daughters on fire and he did not um, cause their deaths. But it was too late because they had already executed him. And then that becomes a problem with being sued. That's more money. Um, you're scaring your own citizens. Now they don't trust the government. And it, the list goes on. But that is why I am against the death penalty for juveniles. Thank you for watching.